18, Christy Tolliver. And you have to sit back and admire the defense of Sweden in that first half. And they're the first foul of the second half. And it's called against number nine of Slovakia. And that is Marta Palinikova. Well, on the foul line. For Sweden, one from two. With Ellen Elderbrink. She moves on to five points and the margin stretches to 11. Number five teams in each of the four groups and only three teams go through to the second phase. So if you lose game one and you have problems and that is a bonus. The foul called against Sweden. Lovely move along the baseline. And Slovakia's number 13, Anna Urchenkova. With a bonus to come. So seven points to her, she misses the bonus. But Slovakia get the rebound. Jojenkova with the ball at the moment, of course, on three fouls. And she is inside. Wow. Good defense from Sweden. And that's excellent boxing out and rebounding from Sweden. Oh, inside. And she gets her own rebound and the foul. She being Halbershon. Nice pass inside. And uh, took two attempts to get the shot away. But the foul. There's the rebound. And there's the foul. Little reaching foul. And if that is Jurgenkova. Slovakia have more problems. Out of bounds, Sweden. Oh, good chasing down. And Frieda. Frieda Elderbrink. But she couldn't keep possession. <laughs> and apologizes immediately to her coach. I'm sure he would uh, appreciate the effort. Bank of Swedish fans behind me. The three point attempt goes up for Slovakia and it's in. And that will give them some heart. That's Marta Palinkova. Reduces the arrears to a mere six. Frida pulls up for the jumper and that's great contesting the rebounds. Possession to Slovakia. Danielle Hamilton couldn't get her hands on the ball. Tolliver. The uh, high post. That's an open shot. Oh, it's in and out. And there's a foul on the play. And it is against Frieda Eldenbrook, I think. No, my mistake. It was actually Danielle Hamilton. Her third. So Slovakia in possession again. Good start to the second half for the team in blue. Slovakia, if that goes in, an even better start, but it's an air ball. Oh, great hustle. Refusing to give up Tolliver. And the rebound for Frieda Eldenbrink. Shot off the glass, looking for the foul, getting nothing. A little change of direction, and inside, and the foul! Wow, what a start for Slovakia, but it's been called traveling. Here we go, one, two, three. No problem for the officials. And that is Frieda Elderbrink trying to force the shot. And the foul this time. Frieda Elderbrink close to the hoop. And Coach Maron Shkodacic there asking for the offensive foul, but uh, a little 
little optimistic to say the least. Belinch over there picks up her first foul. First is good for Frida Elbrink. This time for Dynamo Kursk, I understand. Really final 14 this year. That's some acquisition. The Swedish star going to Russian club Kursk. Oliver. Nice pass. Well, that's somewhat forced shot, but eventually another forced shot. And here goes Sweden on the break. And the foul on the halfway line. A foul by Slovakia's Barbara Balintova. Well, for her pain, she got a little hand in the face as well. Out of bounds, Sweden. With Ellen. Ellen Elderbrink. And here's her sister. She looks like big sister. I don't know which is the eldest of the twins. Going inside. Oh, for the miss. And that's out of bounds. Sweden possession. Penetration there from Luis Halbershon. She couldn't score. Slovakia couldn't get the ball. over there almost in desperation yeah big foot out of bounds Helen on the brink <laughs> how on earth did Frida Alderbrick keep possession there well and she regained possession as well oh, hands everywhere the two for Sweden, that was a disaster for Slovakia, but that lady, Louise Halbershan, deadly tonight, now on 15 points, takes up the mantle of the leading scorer in the game. That's a little bounce pass to pick and roll for Slovakia, that's got to go in, it's going to miss by a long way, and the rebound, easily grabbed by Daniel Hamilton. Rita Eldenbrink. Oh, what a passing side. Hamilton gets a shot blocked. Substitutions for Slovakia. So, two for Sweden. And it is possession. Possession to Sweden with a new 14. And the table, there's a little bit of confusion on the table, so referee just sorting it out. And Coach Maros Kovacic doesn't understand what's happening. The commissioner sorting it out. Our commissioner is uh, Mr. Valente from Portugal. Again, one of the well, the teams involved in any game of basketball is so important. The table officials, we have two teams out there playing. We have a team of officials and we have a team of table officials as well. And all four have tough jobs to do. Reed Aldenbrink. Ashley Key inside. That's great footwork from Holgersson. But they can't beat the shot clock, they being Sweden. Patient play from Sweden. They got a shot away, it was an air ball. But even that hadn't beaten the shot clock. And this is where we were at half time with Sweden leading. Slovakia by 10 and great change of direction, change of pace as well. Wonderful play from a wonderful player, Zuzana Zhukova. Oh, saw the gap and laid it up. That's a veteran play for you. And Slovakia get possession as well. Sweden want to make a sub. Coming in is another veteran, Anna Bartold, or coming back in replacing Daniel Hamilton. 
And Slovakia definitely fighting for this first win in Group D here in Chopron. They're not going to quit. Dracova for another three. And a three! Dracova, she's come alive! 11 points now. It's back to a five-point game. Will we see a timeout from Sweden soon? The jump shot is good. What a player she's proving to be. Luis Halbershon. 17 points now to Halbershon. Well, I'll make that 16. And the stats. That's what they say. The lead back to seven for Sweden. Drakova. He's taking it to Sweden by herself. And another three for Sweden. This time, not Shakova, but Sofia Shishkova. The lead for Sweden has been reduced to a mere four, with four to go in the third. It's not looking anywhere near as comfortable now for Sweden. What a fight back from Slovakia. Frida. Elberson inside, she's fouled. It's a two-shot foul. A great example there of a hesitation dribble from Frieda Elderbrink. Well, we didn't quite see the hesitation there. But we saw the courage going inside and going through those arms and getting a foul. So Elderbrink on the foul line again hits the first. She's on eight points now. She's also grabbed five rebounds and dished three assists so far. That's a good two from two for Elderbrink. Frieda is Tolliver. It's been a barrage of threes from Slovakia. Tolliver. And there's a foul. It's a holding foul. against Sweden's number 12, Anna Bartold. Tolliver, the wraparound pass. The two is not good. And Tolliver avoids the foul. And somehow, Frieda Eldenbrink keeps possession under a lot of pressure. That's an offensive foul. And it's number seven for Sweden, Ashley Key. She's in foul trouble. Well, I say foul trouble, that's only two. I momentarily got confused with uh, Danielle Hamilton. She's on three. So Key and Hamilton on five points, five fouls between them. Here's Tolliver. And that's a holding foul against Sweden. And it is Stephanie Uderström. It's the first foul. So on the foul line, the wonderful player, that is Susanna Zhukova. Second is good. 49 plays 44. 19-4 in this third period. Elderbrink pulls up, misses. Some of the energy seems to have gone from Sweden with two and a half to go. Well, that's a wretched turnover. Not quite yet, is it? It certainly is. Well, the dribbler there just didn't protect the ball. And we have a timeout. What a second half, or well, the third period so far for Slovakia. They were trailing 30-40. Now they're trailing 44-49.
Welcome back to Chopron. This is the first game on day one in Group D of the 2015 Women's Euro Basket. My apologies for some poor mathematics I gave you earlier on. The third period score is actually 14-9 in favour of Slovakia. The score 49-44, Sweden lead, having led by 10 coming into this third period. And the veteran for Slovakia, a veteran by the name of Zuzana Zhurikova. The first player for Slovakia in double figures, she's on 12 points. And here is Frida Elderbrink. Elderbrink goes inside. Well, that's wonderful reading there from Zuzana Zhurikova. Who else? And the foul. A foul by Sweden's Anna Bartol. And it's a two-shot foul. And again, the pass from Zhurikova. On the foul line for Slovakia. Marta Palinikova hits the first. The lead now only four. The lead now only three. Substitution for Slovakia. Palinikova comes out having hit those two foul shots, replaced by Martina Kishova. And all the energy in the first half seemed to be dissipating from Sweden, but now the tables have been turned. It is Slovakia in the trail by only three. Frida Elderbrink. Well, the pass is not on there. Zhurikova again read the pass. Toliver, this to tie. It's tied! 49 plays 49. The pass from Zhurikova to three. Well, again. Oh, it's deceived me. It's given us a two, so it's a one-point game. Ellen. Sorry, it is. It is Udestrem. Ellen. Oh, great left-handed shot from a great player. Frida Ellerbrink. It's back to a three-point lead for Sweden. Ellerbrink moves on to 11 points. Oh, how did that go? Is the referee going to count the score? Is she certainly is. The two counts, we have a bonus to come. And the foul, Stephanie Udestrem. Well, very courageously tried to take the charge. She got the blocking foul, and on the foul, on the foul line, Susanna Zhukova. Yeah, it was the reach. That was where the foul was. This to tie the foul shot, the bonus shot. With 68 seconds remaining in the third, what a comeback. It's tied at 51. Wow. And Jacoba takes a well earned break on 15 points. A minute and a few seconds remaining in the third, nothing separating these two teams. Oh, you can tell there, the effort that Shrikova has put into this third period has been immense. Judestrom. And the foul, a holding foul against Slovakia's number 11, Barbara Balinantova. Well, is it? Is that a holding foul? Or is it Ashley Key? Ashley Key. Uh, the look on her face means uh, she was a little bit, uh, well, some would say fortunate, some would say she was surprised, but she's taken her team back into the lead, Sweden. And Coach Kovacic calls the play. Two from two. For Ashley Key. from Slovakia. What defense from Sweden. 
Can't get it into that post. Yeah. And the foul. Well, some might say justice being seen to have been done there. The foul, Ashley Key. Almost got the steal. And there's the reach. Just into arms into tangle there. And Frida Allenbrick wants to get back in for Sweden on the foul line for Slovakia. There's number 12, Martina Kishova. Frida comes back in. Just under 40 seconds remaining in the third period. Ashley Key on three fouls. First is all in and out. What's the expression? It wiped its feet. Martina Kishova. Well, it did the same on the second shot. And that is Slovakia possession. Well, Anna Vartol there, disappointed. She thought she'd box the player out. Here's the replay, in and out. And Slovakia, with an opportunity to take the lead with a three-pointer. Look at that defense inside. That's wonderful defense and the rebound as well. And the foul, it's another shooting foul. And Martina Kishova will go back to the line. Just missed two. And the foul. And about told. And about told, that's her fourth foul. This time, no mistake from Kishova. Again, this to tie. It's all square. 53 plays 53. Substitution for Sweden. Annabelle Told comes out, replaced by Danielle Hamilton. There is a two second differential between game and shot clock. In game one, here in Chopron, women's Eurobasket 2015. What a start we've had. Ellen Helderbrink. Penetrates, goes inside, and gets nothing. Well, Daniel Hamilton and Elliot Elderbrink there fighting each other for the rebound. And one of them knocked it out of bounds. Oh, the steal, and on the buzzer! Oh, my goodness me, it almost went in from Frieda Eldenbrink. Great steal there, almost on the buzzer of the third period. But we have a tie, 53. Plays 53 with one period to go, unless, of course, we have overtime. Well, these stats there. Look at that, five from nine for Sweden from the arc. Four from 11 for the Slovak Republic. It is so tight. We're watching highlights of that third period. And, well, all of those, or the majority of those highlights belonged to Slovakia. They were trailing by 10 coming into that third period, but they won that third period by 10, which equates to a tight game at 53, playing 53. Leading scorer in the game is Stephanie Udestrem. Sorry, it's uh, Lucy Halberschon, number 14 from Sweden, but not far behind her. Is the, well, probably getting fed up of being called a veteran, but what a player. What a player Zuzana Zurkova is. 15 points now, and she really has brought Slovakia well and truly back into this game. The number seven for the Slovak Republic. And what's more, Slovakia had possession at the beginning of the fourth period. This has been a monumental fight back. Can they now contain or continue with the energy that they showed in that third period? Can Sweden regroup? Well, they certainly can. Great steal there from Daniel Hamilton. She read that a couple of seconds before she even grabbed the ball. 
Ellen now the brink. Inside, the left-handed shot misses, but there's a foul on the play. Good rebound there. And Rita Elderbrink picks herself up from the uh, cameraman's position. Good rebound there from Daniel Hamilton. Out of bounds, Sweden. There's that rebound, there's that foul. The three-pointer goes up and in from Rita Elderbrink. She moves on to 14 points. The lead is back with Sweden. And the foul. Foul is Ellen Alderbrink. There's the move, there's the foul. And one of the Alderbrink twins. Valentova on the foul line, misses the first. And the second. And the rebound, Daniel Hamilton. Frieda Eldenbrink, another three, and she salutes, she punches the air. The second consecutive three-pointer from Eldenbrink. And the lead now for Sweden, back to six. Timeout, the Slovak Republic. The Slovak Republic, their timeout is over. It was 53, playing 53, but consecutive three pointers by Sweden have made it a six point lead now for Sweden. And Coach Moras Kovacic there, rather angry. The uh, timidity, I would suspect, of the defense in the last minute or so by Slovakia. And they have to regroup all over again. Toliver pulls up for the three, misses. And that came off a Slovakian hand. Good referee there. The closest referee wasn't sure, so he uh, sought assistance. And it was given correctly. Not again, surely. Not this time. Good rebounding. And a new 14 for Sweden. Frida Elderbrink. Halvorsen inside, she's fouled. And the foul committed by Romana Vinicklova. So two shots to Sweden in the form of Luis Halvorsen. 16 points. He is indeed the game's leading scorer. Sweden have two on 14. Egnell. He's with Egnell, who scored 14 early on, hasn't scored since. And Frieda Elderbrink. There is some confusion on the stats, I have to say, understandably so, with twins on the floor. I make Frieda Elderbrink on 17 points. And her sister on five. So eight without reply for Sweden when they needed them. As the Slovakian storm blown. Zrkova, Zrkova. A lot 
Resting on her shoulders now. And the three, it counts. Who else? Susanna Zhurkova. 18 points now. Equal leading scorer. Equal with Halvorsson. Rita Elderbrink. And there's a foul, a holding foul. And against Slovakia's number eight, Sofia Grishkova. Out of bounds, Sweden. Substitution. Anna Jurjinkova in. Replacing Sofia Grishkova on those fouls. Unmarked, the zone didn't work then. And the Swedish defense definitely worked in the form of Frida Elderbrink. And there's a foul on the plate. No, sorry, it's not a foul. It is the referee stopping the game, referee's timeout. He thought he saw an injury. It was uh, Christy Tolliver flat on the floor, but uh, thankfully, no serious problems. There it is, she ran into the screen. That's why she was on the floor. Ran into the screen pretty hard. Sweden by seven. Elderbrink, Frieda. Oh, Christy Tolliver lost the ball, regained it. We have a two on one. Tolliver again. That's good defense, good steal, and well, will that be called on Sportsmanlike? That was very, very suspect to say the least. Coach Lars Johansson thinks it was on Sportsmanlike. Referee thought otherwise. Let's have a look. It was just about an attempt for the ball. So just over six and a half to go in the fourth quarter. Slovakia lead, oh sorry, trail by seven. Tolliver gets the rebound. The three is way off, but the steal. The steal by Shrikova. And the two, wonderful steal by Shrikova. And her teammate is Marta Kishova, buries the two. It's back to a five-point game with just over six to go in the fourth. Frida Aldebrink, her sister, Ellen. Back to Frida. Shot clock on three. Frida pulls up, misses the jumper. Well. Sweden get the steal. And we get a new 14. Slovakia didn't want the ball then, or didn't seem to. They get it now in the form of Krucic uh, Chabova. That's pass inside, that's got to be two. Whoa, what a block, what a block! Well, wonderful block from Frieda Aldenbrink. Where did she come from? Oh, she misses the two, but her team keep possession in line. What a block from Frida Elderbrick. It looked like a guaranteed two for Slovakia. Here we go. Almost a wide open layup. And where did Frida Elderbrick come from? And as clean as they come, and she got the loose ball as well. Out of bounds, Sweden, leading by five. Almost halfway through this fourth. Almost a steal there from Jakova. And eventually it was a steal. Yeah, this uh, veteran is. Finds Tolliver in the corner. But no points. And the rebound. And he's knocked out of bounds by Sweden. Good rebound there from Lucia Krishtabrova. Just about five minutes remaining in this fourth period. 
in this dramatic first game in Group D. Oh, that's going to be a good rescue. Not quite. Again, that came from good Swedish defence. Just under five to go now in the fourth. And turnovers have really hurt Slovakia. But they have stopped Sweden scoring for a while. Frida Elderbrink misses the three-point attempt. And here goes Slovakia on the break. And Elin Eldenbrook is back on D. No back door there. Oliver, nice little shovel pass. The cover from the corner gets her own rebound and misses off the glass. And the foul. The rebound was Lucy Halvashon. And the foul by Lucia Fritsch Tobova. Slovakia got the rebound. In fact, it was Jakova rebounding her own shot. And there's the foul. And what's more, it's a two shot foul. So walking the length of the floor, Luis Maldashon trying to increase her 18 point tally so far. One meter 91. 26-year-old Halverson, this is the first. But not the second. Sweden leads Slovakia by six. Halverson now becomes, or regains the spot as the game's leading scorer on 19 points. She's also grabbed six rebounds. Oliver defended by Frida Eldenbrink. Jerkova is fouled. Elin Eldenbrink, Tolliver, almost lost it, two-pointer goes up and out, and that's a lovely little shovel pass there from Anna Bartol to get the fast break moving, Frida Eldenbrink, oh great hesitation again, but she misses, Tolliver gets the rebound, and the four to go, oh! How on earth did Martina Kishova keep possession there? She uh, attempted to throw a pass, then saw it wasn't on. The three goes up, and in! None other than Susanna Zhurkova again! She moves on to 21 points! It's back to a three-point game. Ellen Eldenbrink slows it down, goes inside. And the rebound. Grabbed by uh, Sofia Hushkova. Oh, the pass to no one, but he got there. <laughs> you see what I mean? Oh. Well, that young lady really is making her presence felt. That young lady, Lucia Krich, took over. And the turnover. 64 plays 61. Yeah, there's the travel. Looking for the foul and just getting a turnover. Three to go in the fourth. Still anybody's game. Whoever loses this will be devastated. The effort they put in, both teams. Little bounce pass along the end line, and that's a turnover. A rather tired Luis Halbershon there couldn't retain the dribble. Lovely bounce pass. And well, just a fumble. A gallant effort to keep it in bounds. I suspect she's rather weary. <laughs> That's exactly what she looked there. All credit to both teams. They have put so much into this first game in Group D, the 2015 Women's Euro Basket. One of them has to lose, and one of them will be much relieved to win. 
referee insisting to uh, Susanna Jurek over there that she inbounds the ball from the correct spot and she almost threw it away. And good, almost good hands there from Ashley Key. Here's Jurekova. Jurekova. Jurekova inside, off the glass. 23 points now for the wonderful Susanna Jurekova. Timeout Sweden. Sweden lead by only one. Two and a half to go. In the fourth, here's that penetration from Susanna Jurekova, who, believe it or not, is carrying a leg injury. What on earth would she be like? 100% fit. to go in the fourth period. Sweden 64, Slovak Republic 63. Game one here in Group D in Schofron in the Women's Euro Basket 2015. There's the leading scorer in the game, Zuzana Zhurikova. 23 points now to Slovakia's number seven. Ellen Elderbrink. Benny by Christy Tolliver. Who's going to hold their nerve in this Eurobasket Classic? Now the Brink, Frida. And that's an offensive foul against Sweden's number 12, Anna Batold. And that is five fouls. There it is. Yep. For the official there to wipe her opposite number. No malice, but a uh, definite offensive foul. Five fouls now to Batold. And here goes Slovakia now with Zhukova. Tolliver. Two minutes. Oh, the three-pointer! Wow, what a three from Lucia Krichkova. And Slovakia hit the lead. Totally unexpected three. And almost a steal as well. Krij Tobova, seven points, including a huge three. There the hands playing both ends of the floor, and that was all string. Frida Allensbrook. Nice bounce pass. And the rebound. And the miss, and the rebound is by Krich Tobova. Going to the hoop and off the glass, it's an unbelievable penetration. And now Slovakia leads by four, amazingly. There's a bonus to come as well. The rebound there by the all effort, Krich Tobova. And the two from Martina Kishova, and just look at the celebrations from coach Maras Kovacic. The bonus to come from Martina Kishova. One shot to come for a five-point lead with 1.26 to go. Whose possession is that? It is Sweden possession. What an effort there from Lucia Kerec Tobova there. Throwing herself on the floor in an attempt to get that loose ball. Chrissy Tolliver seeks uh, instructions from coach Maros Kovacic. Sweden having led for most of the game. They trail now by four. 84 seconds remaining in regulation. Ellen. Ellen Elderbrink. 
The twin sister waits in the corner. Ashley Key, here is Frieda. Ashley Key pulls up for the three. And hits Ashley Key, makes it a one point game. Ashley Key now on seven points. Here's Christy Tolliver. We're well into the last minute. Tolliver. Oh, with the layup. Well, the lady on the floor picks herself up. She was double teamed, but she was fouled. Slovakia lead by one. There's the foul. And I suspect it was Danielle Hamilton getting there too late. Yep. Wonderful effort from Lucia Krzysztobova. 1 meter 86 center, she's 26 years of age, she has two foul shots to come. And coming back in for Sweden is Elizabeth Agnell. Well, she led all scorers for a long time on 14 points, but she hasn't scored for an age. Two foul shots. She misses the first, Lucia Krzysztobova. Six seconds remaining, this to make it a two-point game, which she fails to do. Frida Heldenbrink in control for Sweden. Ashley Key doesn't score. And the rebound. The ball is in the hands of Zuzana Zurikova. And there is a five-second differential between game and shot clock. Zhurikova goes inside. She's fouled. Slovakia lead by one with 17.6 seconds remaining. She's fouled by Ellen Eldenbrink. And Sweden want to make a substitution. And the substitution is... Decline. The referee saying you have to make it. You've asked for it. She was lining up. And the referee saying, well, she was on the subs chair. And she has to make it. And the referee is being insistent here. And all the time, Zuzana Zhrakova is waiting on the foul line with her team leading by one. She has two foul shots. She scored 23 points so far. This to make it a two-point game, which she does. 17.6 seconds remaining. The Slovakian fans are happy now. The Swedish fans have gone quiet. Zuzana Zurikova to make it a three-point game now. She does indeed do that. It is Slovakia leading by three. And we have a timeout called by Sweden. Slovakia 70, Sweden 67, with 17.6 seconds remaining in regulation. I just heard coach Maros Kovacic say, after 10 seconds, we foul. And I don't think he means foul a three-point shooter either. Sweden need a three to tie. Slovakia have been instructed to foul, to put them on the line for a maximum two. 
And he said after 10 seconds, who's counting? Ashley Key holding. There's the foul. Susanna Zhurkova obeyed the coach's instructions to a T. She fouled, <laughs> would you believe, after 9.7 seconds. She has put Ashley Key on the foul line. Ashley Key on seven points. And Coach Lars Johansson is feeling the pressure. A rebounder comes in for Slovakia. And that rebounder, Anna Zhurkanchova. Ashley Key on the foul line. She hits the first. It's a two-point game. The rebound now crucial. Lining up is Luis Halverson. Number 14 for Sweden. Is, she gonna, is Ashley Key going to miss on purpose? No, she's not. It's a one-point game. Timeout, Slovakia. 69 to Sweden. 70 to Slovakia with 7.9 seconds remaining in regulation. shooter I would suspect Susanna Zhurkova may be involved front court possession for Slovakia it's in the hands of Christy Tolliver and Zhurkova number seven waiting to come off a screen for it here she is there's the foul well Ashley Key thought she'd got a steal her teammate had fouled, and they have put Zuzana Zhurkova on the foul line. 6.1 seconds remaining in regulation. Zuzana Zhurkova needs two to make it a three-point game again. She does it again, hits the first. Cool or what? 26 points now for the lady who came into this game. Seemingly carrying an injury. I say seemingly, <laughs> no sign of it. Two or oh, one from two, and that's knocked out of bounds. And it's out of bounds, and it is Slovakia possession. And Coach Maros Kovacic wants another timeout. 4.2 seconds remaining. Now there's some dispute as to whose possession it is. The referees are consulting the right of his screen there. 71 plays 69 in favor of Slovakia. 26 points to Zuzana Zhurkova. And behind him, the referees are still talking about whose possession it is. Well, I saw the Slovakian players celebrate, thinking it was theirs. Well, the timeout is over, with Slovakia leading by two. 4.2 seconds remaining. And it was Slovakia's... Timeout. They have the ball end line. It is Slovakia possession with Christy Tolliver. They've got to get it in the hands of a good foul shooter. And the foul. Now, who is the foul shooter? It is actually Martina Kishova. Who's not been that good from the foul tonight. Foul line, rather. Her team lead by two with 3.3 seconds remaining. That was Ashley Keys. Fourth foul, 
No, that's cool. That is cool. Martina Kishova makes it a three-point game with 3.3 seconds remaining in regulation. This to make it a two-possession game, which she fails to do. And Chrissy Tolliver got the rebound, and there's the cover. That's it, the game is over. What a wonderful win for Slovakia. They have beaten Sweden 72-69, having trailed for a large percentage of that game. Kisses all round. Just look at Lucia Kirishnova over there, kissing none other than Susanna Shurikova. And a smile breaks out on the face of coach Maros Kovacic. What a win for Slovakia. Wow, and what a game. What an advertisement for women's basketball here in Eurobasket 2015. You have to feel for coach Lars Johansson, his team led at, by 10 at half time. It was 53 playing 53, and then Sweden hit two threes in a row. But you cannot, you just cannot let Slovakia back into the game. They are so deadly, particularly from the foul line, and particularly in the form of Susanna Zhrikova. 26 points, six rebounds, four assists for the lady who came into the game carrying an injury. The number seven for the Slovak Republic. What a game. 72 plays 69, Slovakia. They get their Euro baskets and go with a win. And Sweden, they have to suffer one of the cruelest defeats you'll see.